I'm gonna show you how to clean used cooking oil with just water and cornstarch. I'm using four tablespoons of cornstarch and one cup of water. I did a short video about a year ago, almost a year ago, on how to do this, but someone commented the other day and told me that I needed to make a longer video to prove that this actually works. So I'm doing just that. I am up for the challenge. Now I'm starting to heat on medium low. I'm not starting it on high because I don't want the water splatter. Now I will crank the heat up to medium, but I'm gonna give it a minute before I do that. Now I'm gonna stir this around for a couple of minutes just to get everything that's stuck in there on the bottom and on the sides mixed in with that cornstarch mixture. So you can use a spoon, you can use a spatula, you can mix it up with whatever you want. I'm just happy to use tongs because that's what I was using to fry. So since it's already there, no point in using up another dish and making it dirty so I have to clean it. What the cornstarch is doing is the exact same thing that you would see happen if you're making a pie. Since the cornstarch is added with water, that water will then start to thicken as it gets heated over the stove and that's how cornstarch works. So it is a thickening agent that will thicken with heat. It will not thicken when it's cold. As that cornstarch slurry thickens, it is capturing all of those little bits that are floating around in the oil and are stuck to the bottom of the pan. You can tell that the cornstarch slurry is doing what it's supposed to do. You can see that the oil is getting clearer and that the cornstarch slurry is looking dirty. It looks like it's capturing all of those things that are in the oil, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Now this method has been around for a long time. This isn't new. I know that the videos that I did on TikTok and on YouTube got really popular, but this is an old method. It's been around for a very long time. In the Southern US, this has been done and it's been done in a lot of Asian countries as well. I really like this method because I can get a few good uses out of the oil before I throw it out. And it takes a lot less time than using a filter, which can take hours. And strainers just do not do the job well at all. You're still going to see bits if you're trying to use a strainer. They're just not designed for something like this. So when I'm done, I'm going to use a strainer so that I don't get any of the cornstarch mixture mixed in with the oil. And I'm using a glass bowl so that you can get a good idea of how it looks when the cornstarch slurry filters that oil. But to get an even better view, I put it in a stainless steel pan, which I heated up a little bit because the cornstarch can get a little cloudy. And when you heat it up, it becomes crystal clear, just like brand new cooking oil. You would never know by looking at this that it has ever been used even once. 